you know about me, what you want you to know. Said my lip gloss is cool, my lip gloss be popping. I'm sipping in my locker and all the boys keep stopping. What you know about me, what you what you know about me, what you know about me, what you what you know. Said my lip gloss is popping, my lip gloss is cool. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I am going to be showing y'all my makeup routine today and also bring you along with me to take pictures, I think. I'm gonna do that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So a couple people have been requesting my makeup routine and I was actually going to go buy new makeup. Like I wanna go get some new makeup and try some new products. I'm using the same products. I was mostly the same products for a while and I want some new stuff. So um, I'm gonna get some new stuff. I think I'm gonna go to the mall today or tomorrow, something like that. And then if I like those products, Products and like they work for me, I'll do an updated makeup routine. Anyway, I'm just gonna show y'all my current makeup routine that y'all see anytime I do my makeup. This is what I do anytime I've done my makeup in any video, my makeup in any of my Instagram pictures, this is what I do. So let's get into it. So I've already done my skincare routine and everything like that. So, um, and I did a face mask, but I always wipe my face with an oxy pad. I'll put all the products like on the side of the screen as I'm talking so I don't have to like every time I'm using something. But yeah, I just wipe my whole face with the oxy pad. I'm leaving my bonnet and everything on because I always leave my hair tied up when I do my makeup. Just keep it out of the way because hair be aggravating. I'm trying to do your makeup. It be all in the way. You get makeup on your hair. Don't have time for that. And you know, your girl got the natural hair out. Uh, if you haven't seen my last video, me getting my natural hair straightened, I got a silk press. Then go watch that. But yeah, I'm just trying to keep it out of the way. Keep me from getting makeup on it or anything on it. I really wish I had did this video like the week I got my hair straightened because you know, it's starting to look a little old and the roots are starting to look a little puffy i should have did it while it was freshly laid but it's okay i'm gonna get me some pictures today and then i just moisturize my face i usually use vitamin e oil that just works for my skin i have super dry skin like very dry skin flaky up in this area like my t-zone it gets really dry flaky around my nose sometimes like right in here so i don't need nobody don't come from something like, oh you're not supposed to put oil on your face and notice Girl, I I'm not here for that. Look, I done tried some of everything and vitamin E oil seems to work, so leave me alone. But yeah, I ran out of vitamin E oil, so I just been using this cocoa butter stick. I used to use cocoa butter all the time. I used to only moisturize with cocoa butter, like head to toe when I was in high school. Yeah, I'm back to using it on my face again. And this helps too. It works pretty well, keeping my skin moisturized and keep my skin from flaking when I do my makeup, cause that tends to happen too. I like to exfoliate. I have to exfoliate really good before I do my makeup because like I said, I have very dry skin and it gets really flaky like when I'm doing my makeup. So I have to make sure I exfoliate all the dry skin, dead skin all. Yeah, okay, so that's step one. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows, which is one of the products that I'm trying to replace, like try something new. But this works perfectly fine. So don't think you know there's anything wrong with this because I've been using this for years. So obviously ain't nothing wrong with it. But I use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Cold Eyeliner Pencil in Simmer Brown now. That's what I use on my eyebrows. Don't mind me, I keep looking over here because my mirror's over here. So I'm not really gonna be face in this direction. But yeah, I just brush my eyebrows up. I really need to shape up my eyebrows. Um, I don't go get my eyebrows waxed. I don't get my eyebrows done or nothing. I usually sh like shape my eyebrows myself with a razor and like little cosmetic scissors. But yeah, it's about time for that again. But anyway, I'm just going to, let me angle it this way. So I'm like kind of facing the camera. I'm just filling in, my eyebrows aren't very thin. So I just kind of put some in areas that look a little bald. I've always had pretty full eyebrows, so I don't be having to put much product on them. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna brush the product in and up Upwards to blend it out because that is what makeup is all about blending if you don't blend yeah, you ain't gonna blend you don't need to be doing makeup but yeah okay so i'm gonna do the other side i just draw like a line i draw like a little line right here and then everywhere else i just kind of fill in the spots that look bald okay and i'm just gonna brush this up I wanna take pictures in a new location today. I always take them at my granny's house or at my house, like outside by my car or by the trees over here. But I have a location I think I wanna try. So I think I'm gonna do that today if I can't finish in time. Now I'm taking this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. I usually use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in, I don't know what shade, I think it's Toffee or it's one of them shades. Um, But I ran out of that. So I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer cause I had that in my bag. So yeah, I'm just taking that. And and clean up, girl, my camera's gonna die already. Just outlining up under my eyebrows. And I'm gonna use a different product up here, so. I 
But yeah, y'all better start learning how to do your makeup yourself. Save you some coin. At least when you do your makeup yourself, like when you get good at it or learn how to do it, you don't have to worry about being disappointed if you go get your makeup done. Cause that's how I was before I learned how to do my makeup. I tended to be disappointed with how it came out. Or I look back on it and be like, why in the hell did I let them do that? But yeah, there's one eyebrow, so I'm gonna do the other side. And y'all know the saying, or if you don't, then I'm gonna tell you it, but your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So they don't have to be like identical because they don't, even your natural eyebrows, like without doing makeup are not identical. One may be thicker than the other. One may be more arched than the other. I know my left eyebrow is more arched than my right one. I have to put a little bit more of an arch in it when I do the concealer up under my eyebrow because it's not as arched as my left. So, you know, don't stress out trying to make it like, super perfect yeah and then also when you do your eyebrows follow your natural shape and like you know don't overdraw and all that that's why you be looking crazy don't overdraw follow your natural shape for the best result okay i need to change my battery because my camera is flashing red and i'll show y'all the next step and by the way trust the process you know you're gonna look a little crazy throughout this process but trust the process y'all y'all see how my makeup be looking y'all see how it'll turn out so don't worry about looking crazy throughout the process it'll come together okay we're back so for the top Part of my eyebrow i use my foundation shade so i'm using the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating longwear foundation in the shade 420 i think i've been using fenty for a while but yeah i just use this to go over the top of my brow okay there is one But yeah, I haven't even been watching like how people are doing their makeup in 2021 and 2022. I haven't even been watching makeup tutorials. I haven't watched a makeup tutorial in so long because I'll be doing my makeup the same way and I'll be scared that if I switch it up, my makeup gonna look stupid and I'm gonna be mad and you just should stick to what you know. But some of these girls makeup be looking super good and I'll just be like, what do y'all be doing and what do y'all be using? And I'm trying to get hip, like I done fell behind. I'm trying to get some new products today and you know, try out some new techniques. But yeah, okay. So the top of the brows are concealed. So now I'm gonna take a brush and blend this out. And I just use a brush like this. I am gonna show y'all the brushes cause I don't even know the name of half my brushes. So I can't even like show a picture, but this is what my brush looks like. It's kind of slanted. I think I got this off Amazon though. I know I got this off Amazon. And then we are gonna be doing this a lot, but I keep my brushes damp. Anything that I use while I'm doing my makeup, I keep it damp. I usually use the Mario Badescu rose water, which was what was in this bottle, but I ran out. So it's nothing but water in here. It doesn't even have to be Mario Badescu rose water. You can use any rose water, it really doesn't matter. But I just spray my brushes to keep them damp while I'm blending out my makeup because that helps a lot with blending it out. So I'm just blending this out up here and then we're gonna go up under here and go in between here. Uh, if anybody that watches me is from Atlanta or just Georgia at all, y'all going to the Summer Walker concert February 18th because I'm going. Okay, so boom, this is what the brows are looking like. Just getting a little close up. Now we're gonna move on to foundation. I keep my makeup very simple. Like I don't be doing a whole bunch of eyeshadow colors. I keep all my makeup like the same tones, like same shade, brown tones. I'm taking my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 420 again, and I'm gonna put that all over. I also wanna find a good primer I know people be putting on primer before they use their makeup. I've never done that. I don't ever use primer. I just ain't found it to be necessary, but maybe I will if I find a good one. Cause I'm not even exactly sure what primer does. So I don't use it. Also, if anybody has any tips or like how to keep, cause I get oily, you know, I have dry skin up in here, but I get oily right here when I do my makeup. So let me know what to do about that. What can I do to keep my makeup from getting super oily right there? Well, don't people use milk of magnesia or something like that? Like before they do their foundation. I just pump this all over my face. So we're done with the foundation. I don't we won't be needing that anymore. I really should have cleaned my brushes for this video because clean brushes also help with you know a really good application. But anyway, I'm just taking this brush right here. I don't know where this is from either. I think this is from Amazon too. I'm pretty sure this is from Amazon, but it's just flat at the top. And I use this to blend out my foundation. So again, spraying the brush and I'm just using water and I'm blending this out.
But yeah, when I'm working with any liquid, like any clean liquid makeup, I keep my brush damp to blend it out. Obviously with powders, you're not going to do that, but make sure I blend it up in my hairline, so. I miss wearing my hair so much. Like I like doing wig videos, but I am not looking forward to starting back so early because I really want to wear my hair longer. Like I want to wear my hair a little while longer, but I'm gonna have to say goodbye. I should have made a TikTok before I started. I forgot. I want to be more active on TikTok. There is the foundation. I put some of my ears in so under here to blend it down some. I'm not gonna go too far down because one of my outfits, I'm trying to do like batch content and like take pictures in a few outfits. So I have content for like the next two weeks or so. But one of my outfits is a turtleneck. So I'm not trying to go too far. Now we're gonna do concealer. I'm gonna take the same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. See, I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna go up under my eyes. I used to think this concealer was way too light for me. Like I would, yeah, I wouldn't even use this anymore. Like I had stopped using this for so long until I ran out of my LA Girl Pro Concealer. But I like, I've been liking a really bright under eye as long as you know, you blend it out properly. It's been working for me. I need to get some more cause I'm almost out of this and I've had this for a very long time. And I don't know how long you're supposed to have makeup, but I think this is one of them instances where you should not have this this long. It's probably time to throw this away. And then I also put some on my chin. And right here in my nose. Put some on my forehead right here. And I put some on my scar to cover it up a little bit. And then I put some on my eyelid, just in the center of my eyelid. I don't put too much like that. I put some underneath my cheekbones. And then I also put some like right here. If you want a real snatch like look, I've been putting it right here. So like, I don't know how to explain it. If you bite, like if I bite down, like you see that? I put the concealer above it. So right here, like where that dent is, I would put contour. But anyway, I'm putting the concealer right here. Right here. And it just gives me a really snatched look. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm taking another brush, the same brush, like same type of brush as the other ones, flat top brush, same as my foundation brush flat i need to clean it but yeah i just use a different brush i use a different brush for everything that i do i'm just gonna blend that out like i said keeping the brush damp with any liquid products and we'll come back and fix the lines i'll show y'all how to do that in a minute any harsh lines from blending out concealer Okay, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use that brush that we used to blend out the concealer around our eyebrows to blend my nose. Cause I wanna keep the product right here. And this brush is so wide that it's gonna spread it out all over here. So I'm just gonna use this. And I'm just blending this upwards too, cause like I said, I want it to look snatched, if that makes sense. Like I said, we're gonna come back and fix this. Don't, just don't look at it. Trust the process. I should take my nose ring out. I've actually never taken my nose ring out to do my makeup cause I'd be scared that my hole is gonna close. I just clean my nose ring off when I'm done. I hate people do their makeup and they don't clean their nose ring off. I used to forget to do it. Um, and then I'd be mad at myself when I see my pictures, like there's makeup all over my nose ring. You can't even see my nose ring. Like clean it off. You have like piercings on your face. Clean it off when you do your makeup because that don't make sense. Just clean it off at the very end with like a Q-tip just so you don't like obviously wipe off your makeup. So that's that. I know you're like, girl, that is not blended. But I'm gonna show y'all. So you're gonna take the brush 
This is why I use different brushes for everything so it's not like oh, a bunch of products mixed up in one brush. You're gonna take the brush that you used for foundation. I take that brush. I don't put any extra product on it, just the product that was left on here and go over those lines like this. So you don't see them and you blend them out. So you just go over those lines. You see? And it still looks snatched, but like you don't look like a nut. You have to be going back and forth between brushes. So I don't add any extra product. I just use the same one and I go over my ears too and my jawline right here, the sides of my chin. And it just helps everything come together so you don't look crazy. So yeah, you just go over those areas where the lines were with the excess product. I am dog sitting my sister's dog. He's such a lovely dog, very sweet. I had him in a video before last year, I think, or actually year before last. Yeah, I'm dog sitting. He's a very sweet dog. He listens, you know, very obedient, well behaved, but he just be barking for like, lately he's been barking for no reason. He usually never barks, but he just be bark. I think he wants me to let him out because he know I'm gonna let him out. And he don't do that with my sister, but he know I'm gonna let him out because you know, TT duty let him out and play and that's what he be wanting. Yeah, I'm just going over all the areas like around my forehead, like just around where I put concealer just to blend out all of those lines. Cause you know, gotta look blended, but you know, still keep it snatched. You know what I'm saying? You see how much better that looks than how I was looking like five minutes ago. And then same thing with the nose. I just hold the brush like this. Just kind of angle it to the side and go over that as well. But yeah. See how much better that looks? And you don't look crazy. It's all blended. And now on to powder. So we're really done with liquids right now. I also keep my lips moisturized when I do my makeup if you didn't notice that. I put on my lip gloss. Like I've said plenty of times before, my lip gloss is very moisturizing. So I put on my lip gloss that I make myself. So my website, bougiebeauty.com. I put that on when I do my makeup. I put that on anytime really like. If my lips feeling dry, I put that on. But yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna take some powder. I need to blend out around my eyelids again. Because it is Creasing. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Deep or the shade 30. I got, I get all my products from, I got this from Walmart, but my concealer I got from Ulta and my foundation, I actually got it from my cousin. She bought the Fenty Beauty Foundation, but you can get Fenty at Sephora. But anyway, she got it and it didn't match her. So she gave it to me cause it was my shade. Cause I've been using Fenty for a while and it was my shade. So she gave it to me. Everything else I pretty much got from Walmart. I, I haven't even been saying where I get stuff from. I'll just link it in the description box. So for my powder i take a beauty blender do my powder i just dip my beauty blender in it and pat it into my face i don't i don't drag I just pat it in except for over here where i drag it a little bit you'll see that in a minute but yeah i'm just patting it in y'all hear him barking he just want to he just want to let him out i just let him out before i started filming i actually left him outside for like a whole hour like he was out there running around and then I guess he got tired so he came and laid on the porch. So I let him back in so he could eat and stuff. I'm putting this everywhere that I put concealer by the way. This is the only place that I'm putting. But I am gonna like make a line here like that where I angled it up to make it look snatched. I blend out my under eye concealer last. Like I do all the other areas of my face and then I do my under eye last. But when I sit, I sit under my eyes first cause I need this to sit the longest like in this area cause my face starts getting oily around this area. So I need this to sit the longest. And just the disclaimer, I probably should have said this before the video even started. This is all preference. This is, you know, what works for me. If you don't like how I do my makeup or you know, whatever, that's your business. Keep your opinions for yourself because I don't care, okay? I don't care. I'm gonna do my makeup how I want to do it uh, as long as it looks good and blended. You do your makeup how you want to. The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. And that's just what it is. Material world! Okay, now I'm gonna set my eyelids. I need to blend that out again because it starts creasing. So I just go over that real quick before I set. I can work with both of my hands. I'm left-handed, but I can work with both. Like I write with my left hand, but and I eat with my left hand, but everything else I pretty much do with my right hand. I need to replace this beauty blender. I only use it like a few times, but I don't even like to clean beauty blenders. It's too much. I feel like I wash it and the outside look clean and I keep squeezing it and it's like products still keep coming out. So I just replace my beauty blenders. They only be like a dollar, so I just replace them. But yeah, I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose now.
So I do kind of drag it a little bit when I do this part because I'm trying to make a line. Ew, I just got that all over my hand. I do like this. Draw a line up under there. And then I just pat it in. Okay, then I'm gonna do my forehead. Like that. And then we're just gonna let this sit while we contour. So now I'm gonna take this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. I got this from Walmart as well. And I'm gonna take the contour shade, which is the darkest shade over here to contour. And this is my contouring brush. So it's like a angled brush because it's kind of like dip in it, kind of shaped to like a cheekbone. So I'm just gonna tap, I'm, I don't, put a whole lot of this because it don't take that much. Learned that the hard way. <laughs> but I'm just gonna like literally tap in it. We're gonna come back and blend everything. I'm just placing it all first and then I'm gonna go on my jawline. Right here. Now we're gonna go in this area right here. You know where I bite down. We're gonna put the contour where it like dips at. So right here and same thing over here. So right there. And then we're gonna go on the other side of that where we put that concealer and go around forehead, just around this area right here. And then I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush. It's just, this is what it looks like. And this is what I'm gonna use to contour my eyelids and my nose. And this is like what I do for eyeshadow. I don't actually do eyeshadow. I just use contour and contour my eyelids. Like I said, I like to keep everything neutral. So I just go in the crease of my eyelid like that. And then I like to take it and brush it out like that. So it's like, you know, and I actually go ahead and blend this out now when I do this part. So I'm just blending the circular motion and that's how we're gonna blend out the contour everywhere. You're gonna blend in a circular motion to blend this out. So that's what I'm doing. And then, like I said, I angle it out and do it like that. So yeah, and I do the same thing on the other side. I actually take a little bit more product than I do on my cheekbones and like everywhere else on my face. Cause like I said, I don't wear eyeshadow technically. I mean, I guess this kind of counts. That's all I do for my eyes as far as like eye makeup, you know, other than eyeliner and mascara and stuff. And then we're gonna contour the nose. So same brush and I'm just going down the sides of the bridge of my nose. Like I said, circular motions. That's how you blend out contour. And I blend it up into like this area right here. So like I blend like this and then I blend to over here. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it all like flows together like that. You see what I'm doing? When I get up here, I blend it to like over here and basically where I just put contour. So it all kind of flows together. And now for everything else, we're just gonna use the same contour brush, so. Yeah, y'all see how I'm blending in circles. Okay, and then here we're going to blend up. So don't blend down here. Don't blend downwards, blend upwards. Like I said, we want it to be snatched. And sometimes I just use the tip of this brush instead of using like the whole thing. I just use this part to blend. Your arm should be tired from blending. If it ain't tired, you ain't blending enough. It's 
So now we're going to dust off the powder. But first, I have been doing this little trick. I know people, um, I don't know if y'all seen on TikTok or like Instagram Reels, or people have been doing like the super white, or like a super light colored concealer just right here in the under eye, like in just in the corner to make it like look a lot brighter. But I don't have a white concealer or like a super, super light one. So I've just been taking white eyeshadow. Uh, you can use any white eyeshadow. I don't even know what kind of white eyeshadow this is, but I just know it's white eyeshadow. So I'm going to take a different brush to do this step. But yeah, I've been doing this and I really like how it comes out. Like I like the bright under eye. So I just put some white eyeshadow right here and like that little area, just the corner like that. And I do the same thing on the other side. But yeah, I like the bright under eye thing. Yeah, but I just put it right there and then I also put it at the tip of my nose and then like the middle of the bridge of my nose, like in between my eyes, so right here. Like that. And I also put some on my cupid's bow, just a little bit on my cupid's bow and middle of my chin. And also in this area right here where I want it to look snatched and like angled upwards. So I just put a little bit right there like this. Yeah, and then I put like a dot right here, dot right there. And yeah, I've just been doing this. I know I like how it turns out. So now I put some in the middle of my eyelid, the middle of this one, I'll put that much cause I don't need that much. So now we're gonna dust this off. I don't let this sit. I just dust it off like as soon as I put it on. So I'm going to take that same Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm gonna take the middle shade right here, which is close to my skin tone. You can take any powder that's close to your skin tone to dust off your powder, just to make it blend. You don't have flashback and all that. And I'm taking this brush right here. It's like the same, kind of the same as my foundation brush and the brush I use to do concealer is flat on the top. So yeah, I use that to dust off the powder. So I just dip into it and then go over this. And I do this in circles too. So um, that's how I blend out the lines, like these lines right here, I blend in circles. And then I also just take, where's my contour brush? I take it and go back over so it doesn't like, you know, get covered up. Ow! I just look myself in the eye. taking my contour brush again and just going over this. I'm not adding any product. I'm just using the excess product that's on the brush. And I'm also gonna take that same brush that I used here and go over that again. But yeah, I'm dusting out the powder, this area right here. Then I gotta dust out the powder on my nose. So I'm just gonna squeeze the brush together like this. Um, the only brush I reuse is this one and I use it for blush. I don't have like an actual blush. I use the Festival Palette by Juvia's Place. I take this red shade over here. And I just tap this as well and do not take much. I just tap it like that and smile. Bring some color back and I put some on the tip of my nose. I just be dusting some right here. I don't put much, probably not even noticeable, but yeah. See, bringing some color back. I actually really like blush. Like if you don't have blush, if you're not including blush in your makeup routine, you need to. Like this really changed it for me. 
And then that's all I do for blush. Now I'm going to take my fan brush. Y'all know what a fan brush, well, if you don't, this is what it looks like, but most people know what a fan brush looks like. I'm using a fan brush and we're gonna do highlight now. And then we'll be done with the face. We'll move on to eyes. But I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter. And I'm also taking the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And this is the only time that I'm using a, a damp brush with like powder products, I guess, um, to make the highlight pop. So I'm spraying it. I dip in my Ofra highlight first and then into the Fenty. I mix these and then back into the Ofra. And then I spray it again and I just go on my cheekbones. And I also put a little bit on my cheek. Like that. And that's how I blend my highlight like this. Now I'm gonna highlight my Cupid's bow and my chin. Now I'm going to highlight my nose, the bridge of my nose. Like that, and then whatever excess I just dust right here on like the sides of my forehead. I don't know what you call that area. And then I also take the excess and go over my brow bone. This is the brush I'm using. That's what I use for my inner corner. And that is it for the face. Now we're gonna do the eyes. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It's a liquid eyeliner in the shade black. And I always do a wing. I've been doing wings since middle school. So I just start with like a regular line. Y'all probably can't even see what I'm doing. Um, I fill in. I start with a line like that and then I do my wing. I be holding my breath when I do eyeliner so I don't move. So I, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain how to do a wing, but this is how I do mine. I start at the very corner of my eye. Go up like this. And then I start at the tip where I just stop. And come down. And I just make it match up with the line that we started with. And then I fill it in. And then, the other side. Like that. Now we're gonna do eyeliner in the waterline. So I'm taking I'm taking another wet and wild pencil, like my eyebrow pencil, same brand. This is the wet and wild color icon coal eyeliner in Baby's Got Black. So I'm just taking this and going in my waterline. And then I like to do a little cat eye like in the corner. So uh, I don't know if y'all really be able to see that, but, but I just go in the corner of my eye. Basically just drag it out a little bit. Like that. I don't even know if you can see that, but it's there. Boom, like that. So now I'm taking CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara in the color black. And I got this from Dollar General. And applying some mascara. I love a fresh mascara. I just bought this. The eyeliner over here is thicker than over here. So I'm gonna make this line thicker because I just noticed that. Okay, so now i take this tissue. Usually I don't need a makeup wipe to do this part because the oil in my lip gloss wipes it off, but I'm just cleaning off the makeup that got on my lips pretty much. So now we're gonna do the lips, but before we do that, I am going to put my lash glue onto my lashes so that they will be ready to go, hopefully by the time I finish doing my lips. I'm taking my lashes in the style Prada. Go shop my website, whoshebeauty.com. Yes, these are the fluffy blinks. I'm just pulling off the excess glue from last time. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Uh, this is black lash glue. I used to use the Duo Lash Glue, like the clear, uh, but I haven't been to get any lately. 
I just got this one from Dollar General. But yeah, I'm just gonna put a line across the lash band. Let that sit and now we'll do the lips while that is drying. So for the lips, what I do, started using this, I started using a brown lipstick cause um, it was like a little bit darker than this brown eyeliner pencil. It's a little bit darker and stays a little bit longer. I've been using this liquid lipstick by Colored Rain in the shade Mocha. I just dot it on like around my lips first. It doesn't take that much cause it's dark. So I just put a few dots. I take this brush, uh, this is what it looks like. I don't know what this is called, but, and I blend it out. Basically just doing a lip liner, but instead of using a lip liner pencil, it's just liquid lipstick. Like that, and then I'm taking my brown tinted gloss, this is Coco Kisses, and I'm just gonna put that all over. And also it'll blend out this line, so it's not gonna look like this. And that is it for the lips. And now I can put on my lashes cause they should be pretty tacky by now. But yeah, I'm also taking my lash tweezers that are also on my website. This is what I apply my lashes with. Lashes, also optional. This is personal preference. If you don't like lashes, you don't have to wear them. If you don't like big lashes, you don't have to wear them. If you like smaller lashes, I sell those as well on my website. There are baby blinks. These are big blinks because they are a lot longer. But yeah, again, this is personal preference. If you don't like them, you don't have to wear them. It is that simple. So yeah, there is one on. So that's it. That is how I do my makeup, but the finishing touch, gotta clean off the nose ring. I have to push it out so I don't wipe off my makeup, like just to push it away from my skin and wipe off my nose ring. There, nose ring is clean. And that's it, so that is how I do my makeup. Now I can take my hair down and put everything away. I actually put stuff up as I go when I do my makeup, so I don't have anything to clean up when I'm done. So basically everything is put up except my lash tweezers, so I'm gonna put that up. And yeah, all I have to do is take my hair down, so. I'll just snatch this right off. I got powder all in my edges, but it's okay. It's okay. But, uh, usually wear a middle part. And then I'm just gonna brush my hair. I don't know what happened right here. Did my hair get wet or what? And boom. <laughs> See, that's what I like about having my hair out. I just have to snatch my thing off and brush it. And we're all done. So I'm put on my outfit. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. It's already four o'clock. I'm not gonna be able to go to the location that I want to go to. I'm just gonna go to my granny's house. This is the finished look. So let me get dressed real quick. And then I'll be back. All right, y'all. So I'm dressed. Let me show y'all my outfit. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that well, but I'm wearing this set from Pretty Little Thing. This is actually, these pants aren't even my size. When this set came out, they sold out of it. And the only size they had was a 12. I don't wear a 12, girl. I wear like a four in Pretty Little Thing pants. Clearly not my size, but I do like the oversized look. I actually bought them and was gonna get them like taken in to fit me. But um, I like the oversized look of it. Yeah, I'm wearing this set from Pretty Little Thing. This brown crop top from Shein. These boots from Ego Official. This bag from Fashion Nova. It's like the same texture as my outfit. And then these red glasses from Shein to bring out the red in the outfit. I'm actually just gonna wear those sunglasses on my head. I don't think I'm gonna actually wear them. So yeah, this is the whole outfit take pictures i think i'm gonna take these ones here i ain't putting my jewelry what am i doing i got these necklaces it was actually more necklaces that came with this it was like four or five necklaces but i just took these two this on and the necklace i'm already wearing is from k galore collection on instagram and facebook yeah that's my name necklace that's where i got this one from i always wear this one i don't ever take this off i sleep in it shower and everything because it doesn't turn i don't know what earrings to wear i'm gonna wear these ones that have like my initial on it well if i can get it out the bag i can show y'all i got these earrings from beauty supply store has my little initial on it just the a i'm gonna wear these i'm gonna put these little tiny hoops in my second piercing my second hole 
my rings. All my rings are from Shein. Yeah, I usually wear this ring on my thumb. Uh, where does this one go? On my pointer finger. Um, it just has my initial on it. This butterfly one I got from Shein too. All my rings are from Shein, except this one. But yeah, this is the only ring that's not from Shein. My boyfriend got me this. I don't know where he got it from, but it's not from Shein. I'll put this one over here. See so yeah, how all my rings are on. Oh, I forgot one. I need to put this nail back on because it came off. Personals are such an easy fix. See, acrylics, when you break them, that's it. You're going to have to get them redone. Personals are going to fall off. You just got to glue it back on. Yeah, go shop my personals. I also have personals on my website, whooshibi.com. <laughs> Per. Okay, um, do I have any bracelets that I wanna wear? You probably won't even be able to see them because the sleeves on my jacket, so I'm not gonna wear any bracelets today. Okay, let's go outside before I have no sun to take pictures in. Let's go. Hi. All right, y'all, my camera died on the last two outfits, but you'll just have to follow me on Instagram to see them. Um, I'm wearing one of them, so here's a little sneak peek. But yeah, that was a failed attempt at vlogging this whole thing, but it's okay. You'll just have to go to my Instagram and see how the pictures came out. All right, y'all, I'm kind of sad because I really wanted this to be like a vlog, but I only got me shooting one outfit, but my camera died. And then even though I had extra batteries inside, you know, it just completely slipped my mind to go inside and get more batteries. Even though I had extra batteries, I completely forgot that I was filming. Yeah, I'm kind of sad because I really want this to be a little vlog and y'all watch me get my Instagram content because I take my pictures myself. Nobody takes my pictures for me. If you see my Instagram pictures, chances are I took them myself unless my sister is home. But even then I've been taking them myself because she's almost never home. So even when she do be home, I kind of take them myself anyway because I'm just used to doing it like that. Plus when I take it myself, I don't have to rush or feel rushed or, you know, having to keep asking somebody to retake it and I don't like it. You know, I can take however long I want because I'm taking them. So yeah, but I can do a video on how I take my Instagram pictures and stuff like that, if y'all wanna see that. But that was a little sneak peek, I guess, the little snippet y'all did see of the first outfit. Um, I did three outfits, so yeah. But anyway, that is it for my makeup routine, this tutorial slash vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. I will link all of my makeup products down below. Um, hopefully it made sense. Hopefully I explained it well enough. I don't know, I'm not really good at explaining stuff and doing stuff at the same time. So I don't know, hopefully I explained it well, but let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what y'all think of this new content. That is it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.